Eric Finley. He's been working as a locomotive engineer since 1989. He's also a member of the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers and Trainmen's Union. Uh, thank you very much for being with us this morning, Eric. You know, this news coming out of a tentative agreement uh, between the railroads and the union has been reached. Uh, what is your announce or what is your reaction rather from that announcement? Good morning, and uh, thank you for having me. I think it's a tremendous victory for us as far as the union and the railroad workers, you know, this is what we've been pushing for for some years to come now. One of, one of the things that has been a major sticking point was quality of life uh, and the need for raises, added benefits. When was the last time you received a raise? I believe it's been almost eight years since we received the wage increase. And the quality of life for us is, you know, very important because we work on a different type of schedule than, you know, the average American that is working nine to five weekends off. You know, we're, we're more on a 24 hour on call basis. So for us pushing for the higher quality of life, vacation days, sick days, leave, you know, it really has a tremendous impact on us and our families. What, and what's, our quality keep, of life. what's keeping everyone on the job? after eight years of not having a pay raise in your case? We have to um, provide for our families, our children, you know, and we're still moving America's freight. There's the just, you know, a lot of things for you guys. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we have covered here on this show and on our network is the fact that there are so many employees who are making America happen, you know, transporting right. the goods, like you said, making sure that uh, we have the kinds of resources that we need to keep this country afloat. Uh, but there's been a dispute about scheduling and sick time like you were talking about. Um, do you know what was proposed by the union? Well, I, I, I don't have the exact numbers, but I think the sick days, you know, if we lay off sick or take off, you know, we don't get paid for that. But if they include sick days, then people won't have to lose money just to have a doctor's appointment or take their kids, you know, to the doctor. It would have a great impact for us, you know, as far as maintaining that good quality of life. Yeah, and, and I know that there are some who felt that Amtrak, uh, for one, uh, some of the third parties, uh, they kind of jumped the gun and actually anticipated the strike by actually canceling routes ahead of time. Did you have any response to that? Did you think that was premature? No, I don't think it was premature at all, because if we do go on strike, the dispatchers, you know, and others will be affected, and some of the commuters may be stranded in areas they can't get to. And I think it was a better plan to cancel a lot of the routes than have people out there stuck and no real plan, you know, to get them off the trains. Mm -hmm. And some areas are hard to reach. One more question for you, Eric, since you're here with us. This is still a tentative deal. The president, uh, he didn't make this announcement, and obviously we want to avert some type of economic crisis. But should the strike actually go on, in your mind, from your perspective, how serious would it be? How much would it impact all of us? It would impact the entire nation as far as what we supply, as far as food. You know, we supply a lot of grains, a lot of different materials, everyday household supplies the stores will be affected as far as the products on the shelves I, it, it would be devastating to allow this to go on right. and not come to a tentative agreement across the board for everyone well hopefully that tentative agreement becomes a finalized agreement uh, very soon because like you said it would have catastrophic implications for the entire country and, and cost billions of dollars uh, thank you eric finley uh, for joining us this morning uh, we appreciate it Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.